Hey, what's up guys, John here. With the smartest people right now that are worth, you know, nothing all the way up to a couple million dollars are doing right now, that I'm gonna talk about in this video. Because we're going through this shift in society where people that are taking these actions that I'm gonna discuss are going to absolutely crush it in 2022 and 2023. And people that are not taking these actions are going to absolutely get crushed. So first and foremost, we have to appreciate where society has been and where it's going over the next, I would say, year or two. You know, where it's been, college education, traditional academic education was everything. You know, we all remember that back in the day, uh, you know, when we were in high school and coming out of high school, everyone that went to college, everyone thought that they were gonna be, you know, the superstar, the wealthy. But now what we're seeing in society is that the wealthy of the people that are online, that have a social media presence or that have an online business, they're capitalizing on the new trend before traditional, you know, if a traditional attorney may only serve a specific area, a specific market. Now you might have a kid 20 years old selling t-shirts that's servicing the entire world that's making 20 times more than that attorney with no college debt. We're seeing this transformation right now. And we're also seeing rising, uh, rising interest rates, sure, but rising minimum wages across many places. You know, California, that's like $18 in West Hollywood. A lot of places are charging, you know, 16, $15 an hour minimum wage getting more expensive to run a brick and mortar business, whereas starting an online business is practically free. For example, the cost for me to put this video in front of you right now is zero, it costs me nothing, I'm filming it on myself, right? So you ask yourself uh, you know, how society is changing, they're capitalizing on these trends. And they're capitalizing on these trends and a lot of smart people right now are realizing, hey, the money I'm making every single day from whatever online business I have, it's getting killed in purchasing power with inflation about 20%. They're looking for smart ways to allocate resources, and they wanna allocate these resources into hard real assets, such as real estate, such as some great stocks, gold, silver, uh, watches, art. Uh, people are looking to allocate money intelligently because what's ultimately gonna happen is that if people are not rethinking how they look at money, they're gonna be in some big trouble because think about how crazy inflation was in 2021 if we do that again in 2022, and it continues growing at that rate, even if you're making $100,000 a year, in a couple of years, you might have the purchasing power of 40,000 or 50,000, right? The cost of gasoline is gonna to continue to increase. Everything day to day to get from point A to point B in a service-based business is going to increase. We're stepping away from that moment in time where people appreciated the face-to-face -face human interaction, whereas now this is the new face-to-face -face human interaction. It's online, right? That's why I think the smartest people right now understand it they know it they know where society is going and they are working diligently i mean extremely focused on a core net solution that's going to help a lot of people the more people you help the more money you're going to make the more money you're going to make the more opportunities you have to make great investments we're also seeing a lot of people too getting in industries they would have never ever gotten into because of the changes that are happening in the world you know we're seeing like look at mark human he just opened up a pharmaceutical company online, right? That business is probably gonna do extremely well. You know, all these people are doing things that they would have never done before because smart money and smart people are pivoting with the times to capitalize. We're seeing people get into things like the metaverse, whether you love it or hate it, NFTs, whether you love it or hate it, crypto, whether you love it or hate it. All these things, some people very successfully are making that transition. Other people are getting killed, right? Because they're learning the hard way because these are all new industries. but. If you're gonna get into these industries, if you first have one real good moat that's making a lot of money, you invest that money well, and then you could maybe use eight or 10% to take some risky bets on the side. If they go 100X, 10X, 5X, great. If they go to zero, great. You learn something either way. That, that's what I think smart people are doing right now, is that they are not afraid to pivot with the times. They are investing heavily in things that they understand, and then they're putting a small amount of money aside to explore new industries. They're actually using money as well to enter mastermind groups, using money to get in uh, circles that maybe have more information on certain new trends, and they can use that information to make smart decisions that may long-term create some great economic value for themselves. So when I'm looking around at the market and society, I'm looking at these shipping disasters and all the delays and all the problems that traditional businesses are having, I don't see this going away, not anytime soon, that's for sure. The only thing that I'm seeing growing is the corporate dominance of America. Corporations are getting huge, right? 
And that's why I believe the smartest people in the room, they're cutting back on expenses that don't really create long-term value for their business and for their net worth. They're cutting back, they're looking at the resources saying, okay, great, I'm gonna use this money intelligently and grow this thing. That's why I believe we're gonna to start to really see this uh, middle class start to dissolve, but smart people, even if they're in the middle class right now, they have you know $5,000, $10,000, doesn't even matter. You see kids today that are so young that are making so much damn money with the internet, with social media, with online businesses. That's why I believe anyone can make it today. Anybody can make it if they are smart enough to understand what they don't know and study that. And they're smart enough to understand how they can grow a business online. And they're doing things aggressively every single day to push their life forward. What I'm seeing a lot right now is people just think that things are gonna go back to normal. It's been two years. It's been two years. Look around, things are not going back to normal anytime soon. They're continuing to progress in this new direction. And if people don't realize it, then in six months, they're gonna probably still be in denial. In 12 months, they'll be in denial. In two years, there's gonna be almost no business left because everyone is pivoting to this new, this new time. That's why for me, I think some of the best opportunities right now are gonna be affordable housing. Affordable housing is gonna be so important, right? Affordable housing, there's a lot of real core problems people can solve. The easiest way to ask yourself if you're trying to think of an idea, a business idea, look at some of the core talents that you have, some of the best, I would say best qualities and traits that you have as an individual and ask yourself, okay, what problems are people gonna have in six months, a year, two years, three years? Look at really the core dynamics of the economy and how it's changing and ask yourself, what problems can I fix given my specific skill set? And then you can focus on one small area and then what you can't fix, you can outsource, you can delegate, you can bring someone in that has that skill set. Then you can offer potentially a partnership, some type of equity split, build out a company and say, hey, I have this much money, you have this much money, we can allocate to this, let's put up a website, let's, let's offer some type of product or service at almost no cost in the beginning, build out some testimonials, use those testimonials to increase prices, build demand through social media, and then continue to grow, 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 and then you guys would have some money, invest it well, and grow and scale. I mean, it doesn't take a rocket scientist to, to really capitalize on this opportunity, but it does take action, and a lot of people won't take the action, but I know you will. Drop your comments below. What do you think about where the economy is going right now? What are you doing to capitalize on it? Subscribe here. Consider subbing on my main channel as well. And uh, also on TikTok. I'm posting there like, I don't know, three, four, five times a day. All right, guys. Catch you later. YouTube Success Blueprint. To learn more about growing your YouTube channel and creating passive income as a YouTuber, register for my YouTube Success Blueprint by clicking the link in the description below this video.